Hey guys, this is Dutes from nearly a year in the future from when these VODs took place. I'm just popping in to say that at some point back in the day, I lost track of what run we were on. I guess I added a run at some point that wasn't supposed to be added because we're definitely still on run 21, but in all the footage for this and going forward, like I never correct the fact that I added an extra run. So the point of this message to you guys here is just to say that for continuity purposes, we are going to go forward with the assumption that we are on whatever run I say we're on in the footage. It makes things easier for you guys to follow along and it makes it easier for me to figure out what run we're on when I'm doing the beginning little card that says what run we're on. I think it'll just work out better for all of us that way. So the title card on this one is going to say run 22. We all know it's run 21 in our hearts, but moving forward again, we're just gonna go with whatever I said it was back then because it's easier. <laughs> also really quick, we're super close to like 900 subscribers. We're closing in on a thousand at this point pretty fast. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That'd be great. Thank you. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you. I was under the impression that within the first two hours of the stream, I was going to have to start a new run. So the fact that we didn't is extremely huge. Oh, and he gives us a life orb. Wait, that's massive. Heads up, Blaine is scary to legendary. What does that even mean, man? I don't want to know anything about the, the Pokemon themselves. I just want to know the typings. Just the typings, no other hints, no other clues, just the typings. Okay, thank you. There's the typings. Wow, three mono fire types. Three mono fire types, a psychic grass or grass psychic. Off the top of my head, do I even know any grass psychics? Fire flying could be a lot of things. <laughs> That's either Talonflame, Moltres, or ho -Oh. Oh, and Charizard, that's right. Charizard also fire flying, which is a potential mega to look out for. What would make this gym even worse is if it was sunny day constantly, kind of like an Emerald Kaizo when they had Flannery's gym and it was permanent sun. Cause I would have to, I'd have to bring like a weather setter, which honestly, I mean, an, my initial thoughts here, right? Initial thoughts, three mono fire types. Politoed's gonna be really good here. Politoed's got good bulk, can set up rain dance the moment it switches in. We actually have a lot of options for this. This is good. I imagine this fight is gonna be a huge pain in the ass and obviously we're not even there yet, but like assuming we can get there without losing the run, very doable. Based on the current Pokemon we have available, this is doable. I'm kind of bummed Roserade hasn't been able to be used for a while. I thought this was going to be a lot more useful, but it's just incredibly good for destroying Surge. After that, it hasn't really gotten a lot of use. Pallet Town Encounter win? Oh, we could do a Pallet Town Encounter. Interesting. Okay, Barrascuta. I was kind of hoping that would be like a fishing encounter, but this is fine. Decent speed, really high attack stat, decent move pool. Not a horrible encounter. Could be better. <laughs> Grass encounter for Route 21? Ariados. Okay. So kind of some nothing burger encounters overall here. God, Mega Sceptile is so good, dude. It is so... Oh! Well, there's Dual Chop, you shitters. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, the amount of times I was told, just get the fucking Dual Chop TM, dudes. Oh, you should already have Dual Chop, dudes. Oh my God. Level 69, dude. Man, it's kind of nice that these trainers aren't extremely difficult to fight against. It's kind of cool that the game, like, just put the most impossibly difficult Pokemon after Sabrina, and then they, they were like, that's yeah, fine from there, don't worry. Wait, we're already here. There could be some absolute trollage that happens here. Mega Agron or Mega Steelix? Hello, I've only recently acquainted myself with Mega Evolution, so I'm still figuring things out. I have to practice if you don't mind. Uh, no. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, lumberries and white herbs. Oh my God, man. Okay, huge. Okay, some sick moves are gonna cost 10 grand. Wait, those are sick moves. What the, f Aura Sphere. So those encounters are done. We have the mansion, which I am a little concerned. This feels like prime opportunity to jump scare me with a battle, which I'm not excited for. So what's the level cap? 73. Oh, oh, we're basically already there. Okay. Let's go down from Fuchsia now. We already fished here. So if there's any sort of grass patch, that'd be huge. But so new route, get an encounter here just from surfing. Okay, a tentacruel, cool. That's a fine encounter. Special defense wall, good move pool. The Seafoam Island is a very nostalgic spot for me. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Price. I was once a fearsome gym leader. 
The age has taken its toll. I have many lessons to teach. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> Not today. I just want to get a seafoam encounter. Interesting. Bear tick. Um, I feel like there's probably better stuff here, so that's kind of unfortunate, but that would have been so good. Galarian Darmanitan would have been hype. That's tragic. Oh, God. Okay, that's just Keldeo. Should we catch Keldeo? I don't know if I have enough balls. That's not enough. <laughs> Ultra Ball, Dusk Ball. I have a Master Ball. Would Legendaries be too OP for this kind of challenge? I feel like this game's already so hard. Like, it's probably going to expect me to have, like, a Legendary or two, right? Well, I'm going to Super Run. Nice. Big. Nice. Kind of gives us an alternative to Lapras. It works even better in rain than Lapras does. So Swift Swim Kingdra could go extremely huge. Oh, wait, Articuno isn't here. Cool. I'm assuming there's going to be some bullshit battle in the Pokemon Mansion. It's going to drive me crazy. So I'm just going to assemble a God Squad. We had a Brennan fight in front of the Safari Zone. So they could maybe make me fight like my actual rival here. You fight May and the, they, you can't. Vans, I don't know how many times I got to say it, man. <laughs> you can't tell me these things, man. It's, uh, I didn't say I wanted to know. <laughs> these are things I'm asking myself, man. <laughs> okay, well, now we know. I don't know what she's going to have. So hopefully this squad is good enough, man. If it's anything like the Brennan fight, this is going to be a hard fight. Don't really know what to expect here. So six Pokemon starts with Soul Rock. That is not a good matchup for us. What is it going to go for? Okay, switching out immediately into Manectrike. Well, Sigil's Balls is a pretty big wall here, so that would likely be a good... Actually, let me protect just to see what it's going for. Overheat. I don't know why you'd be going for that. I don't know if I can Volt Switch because it might have Lightning Rod. It's not even Stab, so that should only do, what, like a quarter maybe of my health? Pretty good amount. Is this White Herb? It's not White Herb. This is going to be a little wonk because I don't really know what my neck track is going to be going for here. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb. Really should have given this thing leftovers. Kind of a throw not to, but... Is what it is. Switching out. That's fine. Flygon. Hopefully it's going for a ground move. Oh, it was going Draco Meteor. Another turn of leftovers healing here. It's going for Outrage now. Okay. We did intimidate it, so Outrage shouldn't do that much. Might be able to do a Dragon Dance here. Yeah! Okay, it's Life Orb Flygon. Good lord. Surely now it switches out, right? We should outspeed, so I'm gonna Ice Fang. There we go. Four times effective, easy kill on Flygon. Relicanth. I'm gonna protect again, get another turn of Leftovers heals. We're going for Waterfall, okay. So that should be a very easy switch into Sceptile, because Bullet Seed is quad effective, and Sceptile might be able to just sweep the rest of this fight depending on what she has. So even with Relicanth's bulk, I mean, it just doesn't even matter. It's just, it's so strong from Sceptile. Ooh, and a crit. Very nice. Very nice. Soul Rock comes back in. Honestly, that is, I think, fine for us. Very nice. Very nice. Breloom. Okay, Breloom could get a little weird. Kind of want to see what it's going for. It's going Rock Slide. Oh, that's fine. It's not a very bulky Pokemon, so there we go. Sceptile's so strong, dude. Holy shit. So good. It's still going for Overheat, dude. <laughs> Why is it going for overheat, man? I mean, I guess that's his best play here. There's not really much else he could do, but actually clean fight. Dude, we're doing, we're going huge right now. This doesn't one shot. I was going to say, there's no way that one shots. That'd be absurd if that one shotted. This, I think, one shots. Mega Blaziken? That has to one shot. Our defense is so bad. Bang. GG. Yeah, that was clean. That was incredibly clean. Pog, she gives you a Torchic. Dude, I love Torchic. That's, that's so hype. With the charcoal, dude. Ah. Yeah, that means Mega Blaziken is in the cards, dude. Our strategies, I feel like, are working really well right now. I'm really happy with how our, how we're playing, you know? Name the chicken Famachiki. I got you, man. It's a fried chicken in Japan. Oh. It's time to go in the Pokemon Mansion jet. Okay, it's a muck. I mean, that's kind of the most, like... <laughs> I mean, that just makes sense. It's the Pokemon Mansion. Quick ball. That eh, didn't work, man. What? What? Dude.
That's like the second newer encounter we've gotten that just like exploded itself. Re-encounter? Dude, it literally ended its own existence. What am I supposed to do? How about this? You guys can vote, but it would only be for one more and it would only be for Muck. Wow, three votes, man. Uh, I can't, I don't think I can put this part in the YouTube video, man. It's not enough votes for the YouTube video. <laughs> one more attempt at a Muck. Nice. Muck backwards? What does that spell, man? Oh, that's actually really funny, man. I had no idea. Wait, that's super funny. Well, I, I bet you nobody, I bet you because we're so smart and funny here, I bet you nobody ever has come up with that. You know what? Because it was so funny, I'll even add on lol W at the end, dude. Wow, because it's funny, dude. Wow, Stealth Rock TM. <gasps> oh, that's huge. Oh my God, that's massive. Actually immaculate. Well, now we don't have to just have Golem be our Stealth Rock setter. That's huge. This run has restored my faith that we'll actually be able to beat this game. I was starting to lose hope a little bit because I was like, man, like it's just going to take so long. But the first try on Koga kind of restored my faith, man. Those are all the different Pokemon that I could think of so far that we would have to prepare for. And honestly, this is a lot more how I would expect a gym to be rather than the last two that were like themed. Speed control is gonna be an interesting thing here because there are a lot of fast Pokemon you could have. Cinderace is pretty fast. Rapidash is really fast. Talonflame with Gale Wings might just be able to outspeed unless we set up Stealth Rocks. Brief just sort of overview kind of what I'm looking at. Politoed, Talonflame to deal with both, both or at least one of the grass types. Politoed's obvious because of its access to Drizzle. And I'm imagining if they're bringing grass types that they're going to have Chlorophyll. And if they have Chlorophyll, that means I want to get Sunlight off the field. So ideally, whatever he leads with uses Sunny Day turn one. So that way Golem can get Stealth Rocks up for free. And then from there, hoping that I can keep Golem at 100% health and utilize it in other ways the rest of the battle you know because if i could keep golem alive at full health for whatever the fire flying type is we just that's like an automatic dub we just rock slide whatever it is and kill it so answer the quiz questions that's too easy man caterpie evolves into metapod yes man that was really easy dude people sad is such a monster he's a monster okay so those were multiple so we could deal with a move like retaliate those were Arcanine and Rapidash. Both got absolutely shredded. There's not Permasun in here, which is nice. Oh, Oracorio. That's another fire flying one. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No, man. There's like a hundred. Oh, shit. I actually got it right. I doubt Blaine has Talonflame or Oracorio. It would be way more thematic to have Charizard plus Mega Options. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. I would be preparing for... Again, like I did with Koga, I'd prepare for worst case scenario, but I'd want to make sure I had things for any of the potential Pokemon. Poliwag evolves three times? Um, No, man. It evolves twice. Why do you have a Miencho? Why is this here? I'm just going to fucking... St oh my... What did it just use on me? God damn. Wait, why am I sending in King of Sand? This is a throw. Wait, never mind. Aqua Jet's broken in rain. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Okay. We might bring Crawdon for this gym fight. <laughs> Dude, adaptability, rain boosted, expert belt. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, Crawdon might be the answer to this gym that we were looking for. Oh, this is a double battle. Oh. Okay, hold on. I got to play smart. I can scald the Nido King. I have Swiss Swim with King Ossi. So I can, we have rain boost. Okay, actually, let me just hyper voice because I think rain boosted surf is just going to kill the Nido King. I guess I could have just protected with Peepo Sad there. Ooh, Tailwind. That could be weird. That could be a little weird. Oh, Volcarona. <laughs> I'm just going to protect Peepo Sad and go for surf again. That's what I was worried about. Does that kill? No. But Tailwind does let it kill. Okay. Secret weapon time. Bang. <laughs> that thing had arrow blast? Dude, what the fuck, man? All right, I'm double protecting. Protect here. Aqua Jet here. Bang. Hurricane. Good prediction. The rain has stopped. And we'll just rock slide. Nice. GG. Actually, a tough fight. And that's the last one before Blaine. Okay. So here is the strategy I came up with last night. As again, as you guys know, 
This is basically all the info I had to use except for um, like base stat knowledge and some ability knowledge. Um, but I don't know. I don't know exactly what Pokemon he has. So this is all I really had to work with. First of all, here is the team we are going in with. Okay. So Wrecking Ball, very simple reason for why we are bringing Golem here. One, he has Stealth Rock. And two, he has Sturdy. <laughs> so guaranteed we get Stealth Rocks up unless whatever this mono fire type that he leads with has something that can fight through Sturdy, which I don't imagine is gonna happen. Regardless, we did invest a little bit into our special defense and obviously our defense still has a good chunk invested. Um, and then max attack because I gave it, it still has Sucker Punch and it still has a Lychee Berry, which when we get to low health will give us an attack boost. So we have that on that way after we Stealth Rock, if they get us somehow down to one HP, we can have a really powerful Sucker Punch, do some chip damage before we die. Golem's entire point here is to get Stealth Rock set up and then if he can do more, we will do more. But the rest of the team doesn't revolve around him being alive. It just revolves around Stealth Rock being up. Here's the thing. If it is not Charizard, okay? I cannot stress it enough. If this Pokemon that is fire flying is not Charizard and they give Blaine a Ho-Oh, this fight becomes drastically harder. One, because Ho-Oh's special defense is absurd. So Crawdont would be kind of the only thing I'd have left to kill it. But two, Ho-Oh has an ability in this game that when it faints for the first time in a fight, it gets like, Destiny 1 Solar Warlock self-res. It reses itself at 50% HP. It's actually busted. It's super broken. So our hope <laughs> is that he doesn't have Ho-Oh because that would be really frustrating to go against. So we have Mama Beak here. I went back and forth a while um, for a while on this, but we have Leftovers Mama Beak with full investment into special attack and special defense because its base defense was already good. What we did with this thing is we are not worried about how fast this thing is. It is simply here to one, scout moves, two, be able to tank grass type attacks for free, basically for free, and three, set up rain. And you can see from the move set, it is here to set up rain and stall and scout moves with roost, protect, U-turn and surf. And of course the leftovers. The reason why we are bringing both our Pelipper and our Politoed is because I believe that this fight is set up to where Blaine is going to want to keep sunlight up at all times. And I feel that way because there are two grass types and grass types have multiple abilities that can boost them in sun. Either chlorophyll, which doubles their speed in sunlight or something like solar power that I think is like a, I think a 50% boost to, I can't remember. It's like, it's like a big boost, I think to special attack. I think that alongside Pokemon that, you know, benefit from sunlight being up, all these fire types, and then also the fact that sunlight being out makes water attacks weaker, it all just makes sense that Blaine is going to want to keep sunlight up at all times. So what I'm assuming is he has at least two Pokemon that are just going to have drought, which I'm thinking are going to be Ninetales and Torkoal, because I know that they get drought in this game from experience. I don't think anyone else does, but I know Pokemon like Typhlosion get an ability called Flaming Soul, which is the equivalent of, if you look at our Talonflame, Talonflame has an ability called Gale Wings, which gives plus one priority to flying moves when they're at full HP. Flaming Soul is just that, but for fire type attacks. So that's why Stealth Rock is crucial here. One Pokemon I know that could ruin the Stealth Rock strat and would probably be the most detrimental Pokemon other than Ho-Oh would be if he has Cinderace. Because Cinderace is not only fast, it has a move, I don't, I think it's called Court Change, that shifts the effects of one side of the field to the other. Which means if I put up Stealth Rock and he leads with something like Cinderace, he can just Court Change the Stealth Rocks back which is not fun. We also have Peepo Sad, which is an obvious one. Politoed, lots of HP, uh, good bulk, good special attack. Um, it has Drizzle itself, which is obviously great. And it has access to Flip Turn, which is a big thing that we need here. Flip Turn is crucial for this fight 
um, just like U-Turn, I think switching out to being able to like scout attacks and keep Rain Dance up to get rid of Sunny Day or Drought or that sort of thing, I think is gonna be really important for this fight. So that's kind of what we're banking on is having two Pokemon with Drizzle. And then I believe that should be enough to keep Rain Dance up because those are our two Staller Mons. And then we can switch into things like King Ossi here with Swift Swim, which Swift Swim Kingdra with max speed investment should outspeed anything in here. That should outspeed anything in rain. And we give it a, again, Surf, Flip Turn, Ice Beam. Ice Beam is specifically in the event that Kingdra needs to fight either of these grass types, um, specifically whatever this grass psychic type is. In the event it has to fight it, we'll have a move that can actually do good damage to it. King of Sand is kind of our secret weapon. We are adaptability which is huge for same type attack bonuses. It gives us a better stab bonus. And also with Expert Belt, that's another 20% boost. So Adaptability, Expert Belt, Aqua Jet from King of Sand does an absurd amount of damage, um, especially if Rain Dance is up, which assuming things go according to plan, Rain Dance should be up when King of Sand is in there. So I'm very excited about this Pokemon. <laughs> and then at last on our team is Mega Blaziken. I didn't want to go in here without a Mega Evolution just because they're so busted. And I thought about maybe going to get Gyarados's uh, Mega Stone from the Misty rematch. But at the end of the day, I don't even think Mega Gyarados would be as good as Mega Blaziken is. Mega Blaziken has a base stat of 160 for its attack which is absurd. That's ridiculous. On top of that, Mega Blaziken also has 100 base speed. So with speed boost and the ability to protect turn one, that guarantees us that we should be able to outspeed with that one speed boost, giving us a, it makes our speed 150% of what it was, roughly 300 speed. We're gonna outspeed pretty much anything in there. We actually don't have a single stab move on this thing, but the thinking here is, Blaziken is here specifically to help take care of whatever the fire grass type is, whatever the grass psychic type is, and then potentially if it's able to stay in and keep these speed boosts and not die, it can stay in and sweep. That, that's my thinking, is this is a potential sweeper, a potential clutch Pokemon that can hurt every single Pokemon that he has. That is the thinking here, and I, I feel pretty good about this strat. A couple of Pokemon that could throw this off would be Darmanitan, specifically Darmanitan with Zen Mode. Um, because Zen Mode Darmanitan has really good bulk, and I don't know if I'd be able to one-shot it, so that would be really annoying. Magmortar has an ability in this game that lets it randomly, it has like a 30% chance to just go first. It's basically like a built-in Quick Claw, which could RNG fuck us, especially since Magmortar has access to things like Thunderbolt. This Grass Psychic type has to be either Exeggutor or Celebi. Those are the only two options. So, I'm hoping it's not Celebi. <laughs> Cause that makes things a little tricky, especially for Blaziken here, but it's gonna be tricky. And I just hope you guys are emotionally prepared for this run to potentially die here. I know that I am. If, if this run dies here, it is what it is. Like we have had an immaculate run, been a wonderful run, and we've gotten a lot of new info. If we can first try two gym leaders this run, that would be insane. This is for the run. We are as prepared as we can be. Lychee Berry, Leftovers, Leftovers, Blaziken Knight, Life Orb on Kingdra, Expert Belt on Crawdont. Ooh, okay, Torkoal. Good, good lead, good lead. We actually outspeed Torkoal. Okay, Stealth Rock goes up, which means that we should get two turns with Wrecking Ball here. Oh, he has his own Stealth Rock. Okay, that's not as bad for us as it is for him. For him, that's bad. Cause I don't have anything that relies on Focus Sash. That is, mm, that is bad for Pelipper though. So we're gonna have to really make sure Peepo Sad doesn't die. I should have put Defog on Pelipper. That would have been good. Regardless, this is pretty good. I wanna scout out to see what it's going for here. What other moves does it have? Earth Power, okay. If it's going for Earth Power, I don't need to let Wrecking Ball get clapped yet because that's a free switch in for Mama Beak. I think we go for it because Stealth Rock's already up. There's not really much more we can do here. We just take the damage. We can heal it back up, obviously. So right here, we are trying to get Torkoal to be forced to switch out and for something to take the damage from Surf. Okay, it didn't switch out, which is great for us. This should one shot. It has to one shot. I was going to say it's rain boosted max special attack. Okay, nice. Huge, huge start. Okay, it is Exeggutor. Interesting, but it's not Sunny Day anymore. So I can just U-turn out and do... Wait, how is he going first? I do not know how Exeggutor... Oh, I guess because it's faster. 
That's why. But this is quadruple effective. I can go in here, get a free speed boost. This is what Blaziken's for. We get a free speed boost when we Mega Evolve. If he goes for Sunny Day, we'll get an extra one if we really want to. Because right now, we would outspeed Executor. So we're just going to Mega Evolve and go for Poison Jab. Because we don't need to protect this turn. He's not going to outspeed. Huge kill. Huge kill. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, that is really big. There's our speed boost. We'll get another free one from Protect here. Ooh. Okay, Typhlosion. If it's Flaming Soul... Okay, this is Heavy Duty Boots Typhlosion because he didn't take damage from Stealth Rock, which means he has either Air Balloon or Heavy Duty Boots. We will outspeed on this turn except for with Flaming Soul. The thing is, Rain Dance is already up. So whatever he Flaming Souls, it's either going to be Sunny Day, I would imagine, to get Sunlight back up, or he's just going to go for a Fire Attack. Either way, it doesn't really matter. We go for Rock Slide damage. No Flaming Soul, dude. It's Flash Fire Typhlosion. Unless he's going for something else. That is an instant... Does a one shot. Oh, he flinched! He flinched! Incredibly clutch. That is so huge. So huge. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is a wonder. Oh my god. Okay, what else does he have? Ah! Okay. Well, okay. Here's the thing Stealth Rock is already up on my side. So this isn't as scary as it was. The problem that I didn't even mention with Cinderace, Cinderace has an ability called Libero or Libero, however you call it, where it's basically like Greninja, where it has Protean, where it, it changes its typing to whatever move it uses. So I don't really know what to expect from it here. I need to use Protect to see what it's... Well, after those speed boosts, we should be faster. So... We just rock slide here. Yeah, we just rock slide. Wait, we just rock slide. Because we're faster now. That kills, right? It's not even bulky. Oh my... I'm overthinking it. Dude, Blaziken's just soloing. There's no way we just do first try with zero deaths. There's no way. Sunflora? Oh! This is the fire grass type. So it is fire... Okay, okay. Wow, this is good for us. I thought this was going to be so much harder. This is just a free dub. This is a free dub. And then what comes in next has to eat the stealth rock and then it dies. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Charizard. It's Charizard. It takes 50% damage. We outspeed no matter what here. And rock slide and kill. I cannot believe how easy this was. Are you kidding me? Drought doesn't even matter here. We outspeed. Oh my god. That is insane. That, oh my god. I am so excited. That is so insane. First try, two gym leaders in a row, dude. And he had like two Pokemon. I was hoping he wouldn't. He had Cinderace and Typhlosion. Unreal. Unreal. It hardly was even a fight. Was hardly a fight. Dude, that was ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Show me a Pokemon with hefty special attack. Then you get a Charizard Y. Yeah, how about this one, man? Bang. And choice specs! Also huge. This run is insane. I really thought that fight was going to be so much harder than that. With the potential, like, switch out drought strats he could have had. I didn't have to use most of my strats. I, I hardly had to use any. I came up with an entire, like, three-phase plan <laughs> of how I could deal with all these potential Pokemon. That he, I mean, look, I, I, I wrote down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different Pokemon that he could have had. And it was so free. <laughs> this is the run. <laughs> Where does he even go from here? Because this would just be right into Viridian City, right? The island? I had, You're not actually for... Well, it, maybe they will force me to go on the Sevi Islands. In the normal games, you're not actually forced to go to the Sevi Islands. You can choose to just skip it. But because the level balancing in Gen 1 is kind of wonk, usually you want to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go see what happens when I go to Viridian City. If that's the case, chat, regardless, I'm gonna need to know the typings for again, that is the only information that we are given is the typings of the Pokemon I will be going against in the gym. Okay, rock flying, steel f ooh, steel fairy, water dragon, dragon fly. What are these dragon types? They're giving him like a crazy team. Poison dragon and steel. He's got a lot of dragons. Unless it's not Giovanni. 
Okay, I can narrow some of these down. There's actually not too many options for most of these. The level cap is apparently 79, which means there's got to be another battle. And given that the last jump scare battle was against May, this one might be a rival fight. We have the typings and potential Pokemon for Viridian, so we'll prepare for that when we get this fight over with. I just don't know what this fight actually is. But I'm going to tentatively go over here. Do I just get jump scared here? Dudes. Oh, it's another Brendan fight. So glad to have found you. May told me she had just bumped into you here, so I hurried back over here. I've come looking for your help. You're really the only one I know that could stop this. Team Rocket has occupied Cerulean Cave, it seems. Oh, shit. There's rumors that a powerful legendary rests there. Could that be what they're looking for? It sounds like bad news. Oh, shit, man. Wait, right now? Oh, no, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, dude. It doesn't concern you. I'll have you taken care of. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 It's not forcing me into a battle yet. Okay. So there's another fight. It's Team Rocket related. I am going to prepare as if this is Giovanni, but I have no idea and I'm not allowed to. I only have the rule set up for gym leaders for knowing their types. So we're gonna have to, this is actually like a full ass blind Giovanni. Let's get the best team together that we can then. They're talking about a legendary Pokemon. I'm imagining with all the mega evolution going on, he will likely have one of the Mewtwo forms, which is not fun to think about. No way it's X, X sucks. Okay, so then it's probably Y. If X sucks, it's probably Y, which means it's a special attacking God. Kangaskhan, maybe, although, if he has a Mewtwo, he might not have Kangaskhan. Just put together your ultimate team. Maybe that is the play, man. Maybe that's the play. Chad, are you ready? I really hope it's just... <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, well, it's not immediately sending us into battles, so we could, I guess, get an encounter while we're here, because it is Cerulean Cave. Ooh, Golbat's actually kind of huge. Level 70 Grobat, we could get a Crobat. Could actually be really nice. Legit good encounter. Surfing encounter. Surely something good. It's a seismitoad. Wow, looks like there's a lot. Oh boy. So we might rack up some whiteouts while we're in here, which might be bad for my wallet. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm taking my time through here so I can let my nerves settle down, Chad, if you're wondering. <laughs> Chad, I just need you guys to understand if we lose the run here, it's okay. Like, this run has been so much better than I ever could have hoped. If this run dies, it is what it is, because we have so much info. At this point, if we could just get another run, like past Sabrina or whatever, then, I mean, we'd be set up really well to get to the Elite Four. I'm so sorry what's about to happen to you, Sensorch. <laughs> I apologize for how much damage this is going to do. Choice Specs, Scald in the Rain, Max Special Attack. Oh my god. I wonder how much I'm like... That, <laughs> that is such a strong attack. <laughs> okay, what's up this ladder? Anything good? TM? Earthquake? <gasps> there has to be a way to get this on Metagross. I don't really want to give this to Peepo Sad. Just because his attack isn't very good. I mean, we could do this instead of Ice Punch if we wanted to. Oh, God. But we need that for a potential dragon type. Yeah, I think we go for it. Earthquake's just too good to pass up, man. If there's a strong electric attack or Pokemon, we just Earthquake the shit out of it. That's huge. So far, so good. Oh! Is there an... Oh, no. Oh, no. We honestly don't know what the boss is up to ourselves after this last defeat against you. Oh... He's definitely become unhinged. Anyway, he's never been one to tell us much, so we're basically in the dark about what this mission is. But orders are orders. We're loyal to the boss, perhaps to a fault. You aren't getting to him? Do oh no, dude. Do I have to fight them back to back? Oh shit. We need to play really smart here. I am assuming I am I'm gonna play this like I have to fight them back to back. Without getting healed in between. So, Mammoth Swine, this is an easy kill. We just scald and... Okay, so that must be an ability like ground-type moves go first if at full health. 
I don't know how that goes first, but we kill anyways, so it's fine. Focus Sash. Really cool, man. Really cool, man. Uh, well, we need to protect another turn here. And I don't have anything that can switch into that because I don't have anything with Levitate. So on this turn, we're just going to flip turn. Oh, well, that's... I mean, either one was going to get me down to one health. So Mimikyu. God damn it, man. That sucks. Wow, that's so bad, actually. We have to hope that we just don't die in one hit, I guess. We have to get rid of its disguise. We have to hope this doesn't kill us. It gets a crit, man. What a fucking joke. It gets a crit. It has to be Metagross here. Wow. There's a kill. Durant. I need to see what it's going for. I, I'm a little worried about what this thing actually has. Hone Claws. That sucks. Okay. And it's outspeeding me. Mm, with two Hone Claws boosts. Uh, come on. Come on, Metagross. Come on, Metagross. Come on. Oh. That's so cringe. Okay, this is Life Orb Durant. There better be a heal in between, otherwise I'm gonna be really annoyed. Life Orb Durant, we have to protect for the speed boost. Okay. Hound Doom, okay, good, 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 good. That's fine. Two speed boosts, we just Sky Uppercut. He, there's no way he can outspeed after two speed boosts. Can't have Focus Sash. <sighs> okay. This at least gives us a chance. Oh my God, man, you've gotta be kidding me. You have gotta be kidding me, there's no heal in between. That is crazy. And it's four more Pokemon. Is this thing gonna do Trick Room? It's going Psychic. Okay. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, go for Dazzling Gleam here, yeah. No, that's really cool, man. It's really cool, actually. It's really cool that you do that. It's really cool, man. Really cool that you switch up your move. Love the AI in this game, really cool. No Kingdra, no Metagross. How do I kill this thing? I gotta get some, oh, oh okay. Oh, now it's going Trick Room. Okay. Well, I might be able to stall out the Trick Room. Okay. We have to Sucker Punch here and let Umbreon die. And then Trick Room should be done. We can send in Mega Sceptile and probably Bullet Seed. But this is going to be bad. Like, this is tough. Unreal that they would make you do this fight. Jump Scare fight. Back to back. Best option is Bullet Seed here. This should kill Hatterene. As long as it's more than two fucking bullet seed hits. Please be more than two, man. Please. What is this? Oh no, 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 man. Is this bulky Hatterene? I need it. Ugh, you only hit twice? Dude, this fucking fight is cringe. No way that one shot. Dude. Oh my God, man. I just have to hope Blaze Kick is enough, I guess. Uh, it's my only option. I have to hope that Unmega evolved Blaziken can sweep. It's over. I can protect here, but I don't have any option here. It's probably Focus Sash Honchkrow. I mainly was doing that to break Sash. If we need Blaze Kick here, that's going to be kind of bad, but we protect for the speed boost. Okay, we still have speed after one speed boost. This will kill. That might do it. Unfortunately. An Intimidate there is, I think, the killer. That Intimidate is a killer, man. That is the battle. We would have to get a crit here. Unfortunate, man. Focus Sash kicks in. We Blaze Kick. But the Intimidate just makes it impossible. Why did it not Sucker Punch? Very confused. Rhyperior kills us here, but I mean, very confused why it didn't. Sucker punch there. Incredibly sad. Wow. If we had a single water type available for this part of the fight and has weakness policy. Crazy. What a fight. A little bit cringe that they double fight you there. Double jump scare fight. No healing in between is pretty cringe. We know that's a whiteout. We know that's a major fight. I mean, we were prepared for at least a big battle. So hard to not count that as a run loss, I feel like, you know? Like we were jump scared by a fight, yes, but like everything prepared at the level cap, items and team already prepared for a big fight. It is hard to say that this would not be a reset. That's the thing. I think the integrity of this run, like we've had some questionable decisions before. We've had to make some adjustments. 
I think this one would probably be the most controversial to not reset. As much as I know I don't want to, and I know everyone doesn't want to, this is the heartbreak we're gonna have to deal with, I think. But again, Chad, at the end of the day, as much as that run really sucks to lose, like we have to take into account that this run was really good. This run has gotten further than any other run of this game we've done. I think there is like some solace in that, you know? Think of all the battles now that we're gonna get to have info for. The May fight in Cinnabar, the Brennan fight, the Koga fight itself that we did first try blind, the Blaine fight that we did first try blind, and now these two battles against these rocket people. So the only battle that we're going into blind at this point is whatever comes after that. As much as our feelings are... Roll! Roll! In the moment, I think this is a run that we can take a lot of solace in. In the meantime, we say goodbye to this run, chat. In the meantime, we say goodbye to the most successful run that we have ever had in this challenge.